I'm Dr. Sankha Mitra, Director Core The Dental Face and Hair Care. I'm a maxillofacial surgeon, implantologist, laser dentist, general dentist, and neuromuscular dentistry is the area which I love to focus more. I'm into clinical practice for more than two decades now. The topic of discussion today is what is forward head syndrome? So before we get to that, let's understand something called habit about habit. It is said, you drop H, a bit still remains. You drop A, bit still remains. You drop B, it still remains. What does that mean? Any habit to cultivate or to give up is a most difficult task. So let's understand the science part of it. Spine can withstand about 4.5 to 5 kilos of head weight. Mind you, I'm not talking about ego. It is the force generated by the muscles that the spine can withstand is about 4.5 to 5 kilos. But then we have various habits these days, especially cell phones, tablets, iPad, our computers. So most of the time we are bending forward. What happens then? Slowly, this habit has a deleterious effect on spine. The head moves so much forward that it starts to generate about 27 kilos of force. Mind you, we talked about spine can withstand only 4.5 to 5 kilos of force. But here it is 27 kilos and the curvature that the neck acquires is about 60 degrees. Do you think if that kind of a force is being generated onto the spine, the spine is going to behave normal? The answer is no. So what all can happen? So this situation is called as forward head syndrome. What are the clinical implications of this? Before we get to the clinical implication of forward head syndrome, there's another habit called selfie syndrome. You see the youngsters making faces like this. Or like this you know when they keep doing this day on day basis it gets into their subconscious and they acquire that posture and that will also again have degenerative effect on the spine now what are the ailments related to forward head syndrome they are headache migraine dizziness TMJ TMJ is temporomandibular joint shoulder and rotator cuff problems chronic cough, upper backache, lower backache, sciatica, neck pain, degenerative disc disease that is in the spine, sleep apnea, acid reflux which we also call as acidity, carpal tunnel syndrome, chronic fatigue and vision problems and not to mention the hormonal imbalance. So I mentioned that I'm a neuromuscular dentist, but a whole lot of these problems can be fixed by working on teeth. But unless and until core muscles are activated and these habits are given up by just working on the teeth, may not we get the desired results. To know more about the relationship of teeth with the rest of the body, I request you to please subscribe to Dr. Sarkar.